Hey, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. I'm being my own cameraman today, so if it's a little shaky, bear with me. Hey, I want to show you something we're doing on this uh, this new brand new house. We're uh, we're just starting the the cornice, which is the exterior trim on. As you can see, one of the things I've, I really like to do is uh, protect the bottom skirt on the house. So in this case, uh, the first two feet of plywood we ran with pressure treated plywood and then we started with the oriented strand board from there on up and then uh, one detail that I've started using over the last couple years that I really like is using this Carlisle uh, cavity wall this is what they call a through wall flashing this is a real thick membrane that adheres to the uh, to the bottom all the way down through the bottom plate and then we actually stick it onto the uh, concrete foundation and then you can see my exterior uh, door here this is off the master bedroom. It's going to get a, uh, a sill pan that we had custom uh, made. Nice soldered corners, Scott soldered uh, wings on the side here. So if any water leaks on this door, it's going to leak on the outside of the house and not on the inside. My guy over here is putting a, uh, a primer on it right here. It's a little tough to tell, but this is actually a, a primer, sort of like when you're priming for, uh, uh, for a Formica countertop so that there's a sticky uh, portion on the wood and the concrete. And then when this stuff adheres, it's super tenacious on there. And he's running all the way down there. So there's gonna be no air infiltration in this house. And it's really gonna help uh, keep the bottom of the house waterproof and weather tight. Houses have a tendency to get sprinkled with, uh, uh, with irrigation systems. And of course, splashback and all that sort of thing. So it really makes sense to protect this bottom uh, most level of the house. Thanks for joining me, have a great day.